We're going to get started with a quick celebration of the last term, fall 2017, which was the second term of the surge program. So here are a couple of exciting numbers. This fall, we had 111 chapters participate in surge, which is 83% of our active chapters. This is nearly double the number of chapters that participated in spring 2017. All five single pi chapters in 2032 initiates in the past term. This is a 6.5% increase in the total number of initiates pinned during the fall 2016 term. The impact on those chapters that participated in surge was notable, with 65% of the 111 participating chapters pinning above their fall average. 24% of those chapters actually doubled or more than doubled their fall average pinning number. So as we're seeing with surge is that chapters are realizing their potential to recruit on their chapters are on their campus. Altogether, our surge chapters pin 1,692 initiatives. So congratulations to everyone on a great term, and thank you to, to everyone that participated in surge last term for your hard work. We continually look to improve the surge program for both recruitment advisors and potential new members. Of course, as members of Phi Sigma Pi, we're lifelong learners, and we don't want to get stuck in tradition. So for this upcoming term, we took the feedback we got, and we made a few exciting changes to the program. We're going to start out with custom web pages. At the end of last year, recruitment advisors were given the opportunity to submit a chapter picture and a personal blurb to include on their web page. We're going to go ahead and look at an example of that. This is of the Gamma Beta chapter at Moorhead State University. And if we scroll down, we'll see a chapter picture of the Gamma Beta chapter. And hopefully, if a potential new member comes to this web page, they'd see a couple of familiar faces. As we scroll further down, we see some contact information for the chapter. And then we see a personal blurb from Allison, who is a chapter president of uh, Gamma Beta. So in her blurb, she tells potentially members a little bit about who she is, why maybe why she joined Five Sigma Pi, or what she's gotten from it, from being a member, um, as well as a personal invite for them to come to their upcoming events. So this customization allows you to incorporate your chapter's personality into the web page um, and customize a little bit more than you were able to before. We will also be leaving the web pages up year round, and every term your chapter will be given the opportunity to update this information. Another big request was to include recruitment events on the RSCP form. This will be an optional item for each chapter. If requested, we will include your recruitment events on the form, and potentially members will be able to choose which events they're most interested in. And your RSVP form will be located on your web page, but for the example, we're just going to look at it on its own. And so it looks very familiar to the way that it did previously. Um, if you'll look down here, we ask them to select the invitational meeting they'll be attending, and they'll just choose one of those. And then we ask which recruitment events they will, they're most interested in, and they can choose as many of those as they want based on their availability and their interest in the event. Note that this is not their commitment to attending the recruitment event. We want potential new members to know that they can attend an event even if they did not sign up for it during this phase. But having this additional information should give you an indication of how many people to expect and which events will be your most popular. Next, we're going to talk about the new recruitment emails. To keep it fresh, we have updated the recruitment emails for the spring. This new template is much shorter as we had feedback that the text was too long last term, and it was possible that potentially members weren't scrolling through it to get to um, the RSVP. So we've made the text a little shorter, more concise, and to the point. We've also included a graphic sidebar on the left, uh, which gives a couple of facts about who we are as a fraternity. Um, we have also mobile optimized this email for mobile. So what you're looking at right now is what a potential member would see if they look at the email on their desktop. But if they look at it on their phone, which most college students probably will, um, we've optimized it for mobile and the sidebar would turn horizontally um, and it would just fit better on their screen. As we surge into the spring term, we wanted to take a few moments to reintroduce you to your chapter's recruitment dashboard, as well as highlight some recent updates that will help to make your recruitment process even more efficient and effective. So I'm going to hand it over to Megan, who will walk you through the dashboard and review the improvements that have been made for your upcoming recruitment. Thanks, Casey. All right, so your chapter's dashboard is located in your chapter's Google Drive folder, and anyone with the link can view it. Your chapter consultant can provide edit access to anyone who needs it. Each dashboard has eight tabs that you can navigate to by clicking on them at the bottom of the spreadsheet. 
we'll go ahead and start with the contact info tab. This tab includes the contact information for the national staff members who work with Surge, as well as a list of the reasons that you may want to contact each of them. There's also a place for you to provide contact information for everyone involved in executing a successful recruitment. Remember to include one primary contact who will be listed in purple with their email and phone number. At the bottom, you will see a place for contact and notes related to getting an email list. You may list your advisor, the registrar, or any other individual who will assist with securing the list of potential new members. Please include as much information as possible about that process. Next is the Recruitment Schedule tab. You'll notice that this tab has a new layout to facilitate planning a two-week recruitment with additional space for pre-recruitment and post-recruitment activities. The events in purple are those that will be advertised to potential new members via your web page and recruitment emails. Make sure to reference the formatting notes in the top right when entering event details. We've also created a video that walks you through how to update your recruitment schedule on this tab. The next tab may be the most important, and that's RSVPs and attendance. This is where all of the names of potential new members who RSVP to your invitational meetings will be listed. These names will now populate immediately when a PNM RSVP. This is also where you'll mark attendance for your invitational meetings and recruitment events. You can now filter the IM RSVP column to help make it easier to use the dashboard for signing in PNMs at invitational meetings. You'll notice that there's also a new column where we will include which recruitment events potential new members express interest in attending, and this should help you as you plan these events. The video we've created for the RSVP's attendance tab reviews the new features, including how to filter RSVPs by date, and the best way to make sure that your attendance is documented in a timely manner. For those chapters that will be collecting names at student org fairs, we've added a PNM list tab. You should also have each of your members add at least one name of someone they know to personally invite to recruitment, and this is a great place to do that. A video that reviews how to build a PNM list is available for chapters who may be unable to get an email list from their college or university. The checklist tab has been updated to make it easier for you to organize your tasks and keep track of progress. The sections mirror the recruitment schedule tab and there is a special section for surge related tasks at the top. Your chapter consultant will use this to guide all recruitment related conversation and tag individuals who are responsible for getting tasks done. You can add tasks or remove those that don't apply and use the responsible individuals column to delegate to others involved in recruitment. We created a video that reviews how to use the checklist, including how to tag individuals to let them know they've been assigned a task. Use the volunteer sign up tab to track which members will be coming to recruitment related events. You can add volunteers at a chapter meeting or give members access to sign up themselves. There's also a guide for assigning roles for invitational meetings and recruitment events. The Campus Contact List tab should be used to identify groups on campus to reach out to directly regarding recruitment. You can list all of the student organizations on campus and then assign members to reach out based on established contacts. This is a great activity to get everyone involved in recruitment. Finally, on the Data tab, you will find information about your past recruitment, your current chapter size and anticipated graduates, and your pinning goal for the upcoming term. On the right is where you will track information related to the search process, attendance, which can be automatically populated from the RSVP's attendance tab, and number pinned and inducted so you can see your results at a glance. All of the videos mentioned throughout this dashboard review can be found on the Surge website. And if you have any questions at all about how to make the most of your dashboard, feel free to contact me directly at mkaufman at phisigmapi.org. Great, thanks, Megan. So we're really excited about these new features, and we hope you are as well. Don't wait, reach out now to your faculty advisor, the registrar's office, or whomever it is that can help you to secure an email list. The search process can't proceed without this important piece, and it can sometimes take up to several weeks to get an email list back from the school. Your search contact, that's either myself or Scott, can also help with this process if you get stuck along the way. There's no time at the present to start planning your marketing efforts. Remember that the best way to make sure that potential new members come to your recruitment is to make sure that they hear about it. The checklist tab includes a detailed task list for each type of PR, but your school likely has some options you need to your campus. Utilize your resources in the student org or Greek life office to take advantage of all advertising options. 
Your chapter consultant can also be a big help with this. And remember that you can use our professionally designed materials available in the Resource Center. And your search contact and customize materials with the information related to your recruitment. Get the word out about your recruitment now. We've covered a lot here today, and we are excited to share the improvements we made, and we are eager for your feedback. Our director of chapter services, Megan, who you just heard from, oversees the surge initiative and designed the new and improved dashboard, and she's available for consultation upon request. So if you have a question about how the dashboard works, if there's something that you want the dashboard to do that it doesn't currently, or if you're trying to figure out how you can fit your current recruitment process into the search process, you can reach out to Megan at mkaufman at fivesignapi.org, um, and she, you can set up a call um, for her to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you about that. Okay, so now is the time for questions. If you have a question about Surge, about the process, um, about recruitment in general, please feel free to go ahead and type that into the question box and we'll answer it right now. I'll ask a question. Sure, Scott. Um, if my chapter cannot get an email list from the school, what should we do? Okay, um, so that's something that we're seeing more and more recently, chapters having difficulty getting lists. Uh, there are a couple of different options. One option is to reach out to your university um, and see what they have available. Um, some universities send out a newsletter or some sort of bulletin to their students that you could include your recruitment in that. Um, so that's one option. Another option is to uh, build a list, uh, which you can do during Take the Dean's List um, and use the student directory to build a list with emails. Um, and since they're on the Dean's List, you know that they have the GPA requirement to join. Um, and you can also get together as a chapter um, and build a list that way. Ask each chapter member to come up with 10 students that they know, either through their classes or through their sports teams or other clubs that they're involved in, um, and ask them to um, and put them into an email list um, and build a list as a chapter. So Megan, do you have any input that you want to add? Yeah, I think uh, one of the more creative approaches that I've seen from some chapters is utilizing OrgSync or their student organization directory. Um, we can help you customize a template that can actually be sent to the leaders of those organizations. Um, you can even ask them to send it out to their members. So that might be an additional 500 people um, that you can get to be on your email list. Another thing for a lot of universities, especially larger ones that have specific colleges for different majors, or even an honors college, again, similar to the Dean's List, you know that they have the GPA you're looking for. Um, so you can reach out to them directly and see if that department would be willing to send to their students. Thank you. All right, we had a good question come through. Um, would the RSVP tab only be used when PNM still out the online form? So yes, when a potential member fills out the form online, we have made it so that it automatically populates into that tab. Um, you as recruitment advisor or on your recruitment uh, committee would be the one to mark attendance on the side. Yes, Megan. Um, another thing I'd like to add about that is if you do have individuals show up to your invitational meetings that are not on the RSVP list already because they did not utilize the form, what I would suggest doing is having an extra laptop there and having them sign in using the form right there at the invitational meeting. The benefit of this is that one, it will be added automatically to your spreadsheet. So that works out really well. You don't have to manually enter it. And the second thing is that those individuals will also get the follow-up email. If you don't have them register through the form, then they won't get the follow-up email with your recruitment event information. So that is definitely a best practice that we are promoting with all of our chapters. I and mean, I think that that is a great way to make sure that you're really utilizing the full process with search. Um, so yes, you're, you're going to want to um, only use that form for marking attendance, not adding potential new members to it. Okay. We have a question about um, getting the link to your RSCP form. Um, so when your RSVP form is ready um, and your search contact will work on that once they have all of your final information for recruitment, that form will be located on your web page. Um, and you can also find a direct link in the header of your web page. There's a button that says accept your invitation, and that is a direct link to your form if you would like to share that out. 
So if you have a question specific to your chapter about your form or um, if you think you should have the link and you don't have it, um, or if you're not sure if your web page is ready, go ahead and reach out to your chapter contact. You can also find in the checklist. Um, Scott and myself are marking things complete and we've completed them. Um, so you can see that there. So your chapter webpage uh, would be phisimapi.org backslash and then um, whatever name your school kind of goes by. So just off the top of my head, I know like UC Irvine is UCI, um, Temple would be backslash Temple, um, Rutgers backslash Rutgers. Um, if you had a web page last term, it didn't change. It's the same link. Um, so you can see that. But if you're still unsure and you have a question about that, again, reach out to your chapter consultant and you can do that best through the dashboard and the checklist tab. I will say that some of my chapters, I did put your chapter link in your checklist, so check that out. I did as well. Um, but again, those steps of creating the RFP form and the web page can't be done until you have all of your invitational meeting and recruitment event information done and finalized and that's those events in purple um, so that that information is imperative to creating those two pieces we'll wait a couple more seconds for any last minute questions to come in Okay, well, those are great questions. So thank you so much for asking those. And as always, if you have any other questions, you can reach us at recruitment at bisigmapi.org, or you can reach out to your, your surge contact directly. Another great resource for you is the surge webpage on the Phi Sigma Pi website. That's just bisigmapi.org backslash surge. So please check that out for all resources related to surge, um, including the recruitment materials that we mentioned earlier, you can also find the form to request custom materials. Um, the videos that walk you through different processes for the dashboard can be found on there as well. And we'll also be uploading a recording of this webinar um, later this week. All right, well, that's all we have for you today. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, thank you for your passion for recruitment and for growing your chapter. Um, we hope you're excited about our new features, and I know we're excited for another strong recruitment. Thank you and have a great evening.